The handle body is probably the trickiest of the pieces you'll have to make with the button maker project. It's really not that bad, but it's using a couple of things you may not have experienced yet, like how to make an angled plane. Uh, we're going to start off by just making this basic shape here, and we'll kind of go on from there. So let's go to Inventor, make a new part file, sketch, rectangle, always start on your origin, This distance here is 1.375. The entire length of this is draw a circle in somewhere over here, snap it to the midpoint. The circle has a radius of 0.3125. So the diameter is going to be twice that, times 2. I'm going to select rectangle, click on the top quadrant, come over here and look at where it just touches the bottom of that circle. trim out the bits you don't need and to mention how far away this is from the edge from the back edge 3.347 it did not like that and I'm guessing is because I gave this the wrong dimension. This entire length is 4.375. Now let's try. 3.347. Well, still not quite right. Let's make a vertical constraint real quick with this corner and this corner. That looks good. Thickness of all this, 1.375. Let's make a new sketch on here. Point right in the middle. Finish your sketch. This point is going to be a hole. And this hole. 7 sixteenths, 14 threads per inch, unified national course, and it's a through hole. So tapped, 7 divided by 16 is 0.4375. It is a through hole. Select OK. Now the tricky part. Select plane, click on the back corner and the front corner. We're going to make a plane that slices through the middle. Make sure it highlights. Right click on the plane. Make a new sketch. Use F7 to slice your graphics. Project your geometry. Use points to make one point here and one point here. And now we'll do it from this side. You guys can figure it out. This first point, going backwards, is at 0.4375. This point is showing where this outside ring is. So from the center out, it's going to be half of this diameter. I just want the radius. So 1.3125. divided by 2. Using line, I'm going to connect my two points and then connect the two points back to the corner. Finish your sketch, revolve, 
that little corner you just made around the axis from this hole we're going to cut select OK for this back part here it says that these are all 0.3125 so fill it 0.3125 select all your edges And on here we're going to make a new sketch where these two points are. It's exactly where we want these two things to be. It's on the center mark that's going to share the same center point as this radius here. So I can finish my sketch. I click on this one in the back here. Make a hole. It says that is 5 16 18 UNC so that's a tapped hole 5 16 5 divided by 16 is 0 0.3125 it is through all and it is uh, thread of the full length I want to see the visibility of that one more time so I can still get this point the point is gone. So that's not going to help. I just have to make a new sketch. Select the next point, make a hole. It says on here this is 0.25 through. So make sure that's a through hole. Change it to clearance. 0.25 through all. Perfect. The handle body. If you look at the top, it is aluminum 6061. So right click part 11, go down to eye properties, physical, material, scroll up to the top, aluminum 6061, select OK. And now this time, I'm also going to change how it displays. And this is blue. I thought they had a nicer blue in here. Well, no matter. We'll go back up towards the top here. Just blue wall paint should be fine. So it's still going to keep that material type. If I go back in here, under physical, it's still aluminum, but we're applying a, a blue finish to it. I also want to get rid of this work plane, so I'm going to right click, uncheck visibility. Save this as handle body. 